time your child turns six years old, she'll have had 35 vaccinations if following government recommendations. Here to discuss the importance of childhood immunization is Dr. Jane Siegel, infectious diseases expert at Children's Medical Center. Dr. Siegel, we don't hear much about kids with childhood diseases anymore, so are vaccines still necessary? Absolutely. The reason we don't hear about the diseases is because we've been so successful with the vaccine, and we know that if we lower our rate of coverage, we'll start seeing the disease again. What about all this talk about autism? Fortunately, there now have been published several excellent peer-reviewed studies that do not support an association of autism with vaccines. And in addition, there were some court rulings in February that, again, uh, supported no association. Texas recently changed its immunization requirements, right? The requirements were changed to be consistent with those of the CDC and the American Academy of Pediatrics. Basically, it's more attention to making sure that children get their hepatitis A vaccine, that second doses of the MMR and chickenpox vaccine are given, and that adolescents receive their Tdap, the adult pertussis vaccine, as well as the meningococcal vaccine. What about flu shots for kids? Flu shots are great for kids, and they're recommended also to protect the vulnerable people around them. We recommend either the the shots or the spray for children over six months of age. For the most up-to-date information on kids' health topics, visit childrens.com slash your child's health.